Good morning, everyone. How are we? I feel like the the lighting's super strong today, and I'm in the corner, so like I had, I had the 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 baby in the corner vibes. And yes, there's no E in Bradley. How do y'all not know this by now? I mean, there is an E in normal people's Bradley, but not in my Bradley. There's no E. Actually, my nickname when I worked at the golf course for a while was No E, which is a terrible nickname. It like doesn't roll off the tongue, right? It's a terrible nickname, but what are you gonna do? Less than 23 hours to iPad pre-order time. I considered it. I don't need it. I don't need a new iPad. So good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Lots of good mornings. Strong start with the stream title. Yes, we are now in the corner of the office of the playroom. You don't get to choose your own nick nickname. That's true. Yeah, we had a we had a member that I told that to once. He said, are you a Bradley or a Bradford? And I said, I'm a Bradley with no E. And it just like wrecked his head, just like Alan said, like wrecked his, it wrecked his brain. So he just continued to call me no E for the rest of my time there. So it didn't really stick. It was just pretty much just him and like one other guy. <laughs> mm. Big E, well that makes a lot of sense, Evan. The corner looks so good on video. Yeah, um, and we're working on the camera today. I really like this setup much better, right? It gives me a little space, a little depth. And when we get the new camera, we're gonna have even more clarity in here. Like, I don't know that you need clarity here, but maybe more clarity back here. Um, and then we'll work on the desk camera next. That one's, the desk camera is gonna be lagging behind. The desk camera is still gonna be the, um, the webcam for now. Twitch blocked your nickname. Yeah, I could see that. You get those retro tubes hiding out in the background. Yeah, actually they were more visible, but I just keep piling up crap up there. So yeah, those are my five, those are my five retros. Should I do a retro this year? I'm undecided. It looks nice and gloomy outside. I so it is. It is gloomy. But the, when I open the blinds, even that level of cloudiness is just like eye searing. So you got to have them closed. Which Ackerman is in the back? It's the uh, Dutch Masters Israel Zeblau. <clears throat> yes to the retro. I have a really, I have an idea for a retro. I'm not going to share. I couldn't escape AA Ron. Yeah, like I try to avoid calling you AA Ron because that's honestly that's one of my favorite skits ever. But if I was if I was an Aaron, if I was an AA Aaron, I would hate every minute of that. But that's like one of my favorite comedic skits ever. My apologies, Aaron. So I I purposefully don't use AA Ron um, because I'm sure people are like super tired of that. <laughs> So yeah, I'll show you all the retros in just a second. I gotta find my number one pin attic retro though. I think it's in my in the closet of doom. It wasn't with the rest of them. Those are all the number ones of the ones I did. I hate baloney for name related. Tony baloney, yeah, yeah. I mean, you can get if you get like a legit deli baloney, I'd be in. But I, I'm I'm packing. I'm I'm putting chips in baggies. If y'all wonder what my hands are up to down here, it's just I gotta get I gotta get a few more of these done today. Um, but you can get and also fried bologna. There's nothing wrong with fried bologna. But like, but like from the grocery store, bologna like pass. But the the problem with bologna is if you're going to a deli, there's ten better choices you can make. Right? It's not that it's bad. It's that everyone, like, there's there's 10 better choices. What's the difference between Bologna and Bologna? I don't know. Hot take between the substitute teacher sketches and college, college football sketches. Yeah, I, I, I mean, that's a big statement. Like, I don't know that it's a hot take. It's a, it's a large statement to take in, right? Lots of network lags. I am running crystal clear over here. Let me check. I am running 0% errors. Let me double check. Uh, yeah. I'm good. 
I'm good, uh, Vlad. No errors over here. If y'all keep seeing them, let me know. Might be on the Twitch side. Bologna is a food. Theoretically, bologna is a synonym for BS. I can get delicious salami. Yeah, like, why would you ever get bologna if you could get salami, pastrami, like, you know, your roast beefs, any of that stuff, if you're, if you're a meat eater, like... Like, I would get, like, I would get, like, if I went to, like, okay, Wilco, if I went to the place that specialized in the bologna, I would get it. Now, mortadella, like, I don't, we, we've established that I don't like olives. So, right, like, one of the greatest foods of my childhood that I never ate um, was the, uh, you know, what's the, what's the olive sandwich? Oh, why am I blanking? Y'all know what I'm talking about in New Orleans. Why did it just blow you with my mind? Because my, my parents ate it all the time. Muffaletta, thank you. My mind went immediately blank. Mortadella is not, doesn't have the olives in it? God, what does it have in it? What is mortadella? Doesn't mortadella have the stuff in it, though? Chopped liver, I'll pass on that. My dad was down with that, though. It has pistachios and peppercorns? Mm. I'd try it. Sorry, I got it confused. I had the best cheese I've ever had in my life the other night. I don't know that I could quantify. I love cheese. I don't know that I could quantify what the best cheese I've ever had in my life would be. I don't. I don't guess I have that palate. I just like cheese. Yeah, I like corned beef without all the stuff. Like I don't hate the stuff. I just rather without the stuff. All right, we've we've. Uh, We've digressed quickly. <laughs> but this is how today's stream's gonna go, because I don't have too much. I got a big box of stuff I have to open. I wish I had a good deli here. I would eat there once a week. We just don't have that. Honestly, the best deli we have around here is Publix. Twitch really sucks on the quality of the video connection. Um, it has its issues. It does have some issues from time to time. I Honestly, I'm seeing no issues here. I think most people are, are running reasonably stable. So, who knows? Who knows? Public subs, best subs, yeah. I would get them. They're just too, they're not convenient to me. Our Kroger is right. We're a Kroger family. Um, we got uh, hip hop stamps today. Oh, crack these open. Do y'all have access to Beecher's cheese? I don't know what that is. No. I mean, we might, but I don't ever like shop the cheese cabinet. <clears throat> Tony, what was this best cheese you ever ate? I just got a big Lego set at the airport yesterday, flying back from seeing family. What big Lego set could you get at the airport? That's awesome. Like, what did you get? Oh, you know what? I saw one of the Star Wars. What are the. Uh, I saw someone I follow on Twitch got the um, one of those scout droids. I don't, I forget the name of them. It's like a, it's like an an adulty marketed Lego set. Barada cheese. Seems like I've heard of that, but I don't know what it's. The probe droid. Yeah, is that new? Is that probe droid new? Because I was like, damn, that looks awesome. You put that together yesterday. Is it a good one? I saw a picture of that. I didn't know that existed. I saw a picture and I was like, dang. It was not a fun build. It was pretty um, unique shapes, I guess, right? Is that fair? Is that a fair way to put it? Unique shapes. Happy rainy Thursday. Yeah, so maybe the pro droid looks better than it is. Too many fiddly little pieces. Yeah, it looks very not straightforward. Ooh, that was loud. Uh, let me look up what I think's in this box. I forget the name. This is a box. <clears throat> this is a box that got lost on its way. Not lost on its way to me, but delayed. Thoughts on mixing a Ar Roshizuku? I would do it. I'm so I've done it before. I have a review on my blog. Um. And. Like, I, I do it, I'm okay with it, but, you know, you just want to manage those pins. Um, 
cleanliness, right? I like I'm not like I'm wonder how they would you want to monitor the situation closely. Like I've done it, I've used it, I've enjoyed it, I've done a review on it. I don't know that I would leave it sitting in my pens like I'd necessarily do some other inks. Does that make sense? Yeah, so exactly what Power Power Belly 51 says. That's my go-to mix is I just do equal parts Shinkai and Kanpeki. But you want to monitor the situation because not all colors are made equally in ink lineups, if you will. Does that make sense? So yeah, I would do it and it's great, but you just need to just need to pay attention to that kind of stuff. I don't advocate for that. Um, I think it's a fun idea. And I'm pro doing it, but you just want to watch what you're doing. At the doctor's office, I had to watch on mute. You don't even have to watch. Just have it on. I'm good with that. Just have it on. Classic Lamy Dark Lilac dupe is Shinkai and Yamabuto. Is it really? Is that the go-to uh, Dark Lilac? I would be down with that. All right, I'm, I'm trying to find the name here. In the earlier life, I worked for a CAD CAM software company that Lego used. Sweet. So I actually want to, um, I want to redo, I want to make another vial of the, uh, the Roshizuku. But yeah, I have a review of that. Let me see if I can find that real quick. Did I call it Shinpeki or something? I don't know what I called it. For all the things I love about Squarespace, their search function is not my favorite. I swear I did a post on this. <clears throat> Kiraguru and Sei Boku. Why? Why would you do that? I'm, I'm, I'm not. What, like, what was your goal? Say Buku being too light. Yeah, valid. Jerrica, that's another reason too. Like, if I'm having to check something on mobile, it's just like, that's why I only try to do like three posts on a single page so you can so you're not scrolling through infinite posts um i'm looking i swear maybe maybe i just did it on instagram or something and there's literally just a drop that makes that makes a lot of sense actually yeah i'm with you on there I don't know. I must be delusional. I must have just I must have just did it on um, Instagram or something like that. All right, what am I looking for? I'm looking for this product name before I open. Shibui. Shibui leather cases. So the one Anna has been reviewing on Well Appointed Desk. They sent me the package at the same time as as her. And uh, mine just arrived yesterday, and she's already like done with reviews, done with giveaways, and all that stuff. So, and the packages were, they had to like fight to get the packages to me. So, they're here. We're going to open that up today. I'm pretty sure that's what's in this box. It's a large box. But I know they sent me a bunch of stuff, right? That's a big box. And it's from the Philippines. So, I'm pretty sure this is them. I've struggled to find the search on the vest. It's on the far right, and sometimes it's off the screen. Yes, I have to slide the screen to get to the search. I don't get that. Yeah, so I want to do more with ink mixing. But, you know, it's just I'm not going to cross brands. I'm not going to cross product lines in brands, right? Like I wouldn't mix a diamine sheening ink with a, di a different, like a base diamine, right? Like I'm not going to do something like that. Um, but like, you know, the the Roshizuku's 
uh, I think would be it's it's they behaved well enough when I did them to uh, to be good. All right, let me open this box up. I feel like I got I got to get in a little bit of a workflow this morning. Um, I've just been catching up on a bunch of stuff today, and then I'm gonna get catch up on all shipping. I haven't found a good reason to mix. I'm good with the colors I can buy. I might be boring. I don't think that's the case. I don't think there is. I don't think there is a compelling mix argument, right? Because there's so many ink, so much ink available. Like, what can you make on your own that you can't buy? Or can't find but it's just kind of like a little diversion look oh i did this thing this is mine that's all when i get a large fortune i'm going to develop a stationary web store as a service so that i can end up with a small fortune that's funny oh just got my moderna second moderna dose how long ago did you get the second pfizer one i got the um moderna um and it's been three weeks today so i was on uh house moderna let's cut something I gotta figure out, ooh, second, second uh, dose tomorrow, congratulations. All right, I gotta figure out what we're gonna do here. Gotta figure out exactly what's going on here. Second Pfizer dose on Tuesday and it was fine till last night. That's interesting, a little bit of a delayed, delayed reaction. Rounding the corner after 48. Yeah, I had no symptoms after like 24. And I had about a eight or 10 hour run where I was just white. All right, apologies as I try to figure out how to get this going. This is some kind of, <clears throat> something just shot in my mouth. Oh, sorry, my phone. This is like one big, giant, happy, bubble wrappy package. We got the hookup, y'all, from Shibui. Look at this. So they gave me some stuff to review and some stuff to give away. I don't know if we're gonna give away on chat today. I don't know what I have. I don't even know what I have yet. But good grief. <laughs> there was an ink Nagahara had made that didn't mimic the odd blue ink color that nib grinders end up with that's actually pretty funny um that's a lot of stuff how cool is that wife had second astrazeneca jab and had systems like a mild flu yeah felt the sick as i have in the past several years after this dose i agree with you like luckily when it went away like it was gone like it was just like poof uh, everything I felt better, but it, it took a minute. <clears throat> cool packaging, just you know your basic basic boxes. So that's a large box, a medium box, a medium box, and a large heavy box so we got four boxes here oh, okay so we got large medium and then two small all right we're gonna go um small to large you americans are so lucky uh, Canadians are so far behind. I hate that. It's kind of wild to me. I follow a lot of, of Canadians on Twitter, and yeah, they've definitely been up in arms, but I don't know all the details, unfortunately. All right. Um, we'll see. We might need, let me see if I need to throw desk cam on these. Let me make some room. I got all my uh, letter writing stuff here. So let's see here. I did it again, Tessa. I got all my letter writing stuff here. It's not letter writing stuff. I had an epiphany though. I had an epiphany. Y'all aren't gonna believe me until it happens. 
but I had an epiphany about the journaling stream I want to do. I think it might be letter writing social stream. I think that might be a better presentation, and I would actually write letters. What do y'all think about that? As a guy in my 20s living in Canada, I won't have my shot till the winter. That is not an ideal, even whatsoever. So yeah, I think the, the journaling stream concept is great, but I think I'm gonna call it letter writing social. What do y'all think? And I will write a letter or let multiple letters. I'm gonna make myself do it. I think that's more interesting than uh, journal. I mean, you can journal too. You'll believe it when it happens, same, agree. But I had this epiphany yesterday. So yeah, that was that was my thought process. Plus I get I get asked a lot of questions. You're even worse about writing letters than I am and I'm pretty bad. Yeah, fair. All right, let's see if we can My desk went from like super clean to mass casualty and no time flat like i literally have no room <laughs> yeah letter writing social is a better it's a better name too i think it's a fun name it's probably i mean it's not original like people do that all the time all right shibui this is a three pin case in saddle brown they have a little sticker here that you can't read <laughs> if i hit it it makes it come in focus Ooh, that's pretty. YKK, wow, that's a that's some big love for YKK right there. YKK is the bomb. All right, let me slide this out here. All right, so they have their logo on the zipper. That's pretty nice. So it's a um, It's smooth as in there's a, like a little texture. It's not like a glossy finish. YKK stay in stream. I mean, that's the only option, right? YKK is great. There's actually a YKK factory in Macon. Um, really pretty exterior. I like the other good thing is they have a wide zipper tape. Like this is called the, the zipper tape. This the, the zipper plus the cloth parts of this. And you can get those narrower, right? Like in some of these cases, you have a narrower tape. This is a good tape to give the case some depth because once you put your pins in there, you need that depth instead of like blowing out the case, right? So you, God, this is well done. Um, so you put your pins in there. Let's see if you can fit this big honk in Canalea. Oh yeah, with these. Um, and then since you have the wider tape, you're not shoving, you're not bulging out the sides of the case, right? Like the tape gives you the width that you need to fit the large size pen. Does that make sense? This is Shibui. No double loops. Um, are you pro double loops? I don't see why you'd want double loops in a small pen case. That's just That would just be a fight to get around the zipper edges the whole time but you would be pro double loops have you decided whether to keep the canalea it changes about every 10 minutes this morning i was considering not keeping it and now i'm it's been on my desk and i've been playing with it and now I'm, i don't know what to do prevent the pins from knocking into each other on the uh so like on the tops and bottoms, if they're sliding, like a, like an angle, I get that. Giveaway, <laughs> y'all hush. <laughs> so let's put the some big pins in here. So we're gonna put, so that's the Leonardo. So I see, so you're saying to prevent this. I get that. I just don't know that it's as functional of a case, but yeah, I don't know, maybe you're right, Vlad. I don't know, I don't. I don't like double loops and small form factors. What else is big? It's the Safari. 
Safari's not that big. It's Nakaya. That's probably the three biggest pins I have on the desk right now. Yeah, I'm with you, Vlad. You're not wrong. I think that's a fair statement. I don't know that a double... Maybe it would, maybe it would work. I would not... I'm not going to knock them for that, right? Like, I get it. I get it. Like, I just think the form factor kind of determines that for me. Um, so yeah, those are three big pens. So they've made these, like they're not even, they're not, like they fit here. Like they're not even squeezing these loops. So that's pretty good. And then like it's, it's really roomy still. Maybe to Vlad's point, maybe since it is roomy, you want more of that. What keeps the strap from coming loose? Which strap? This strap? I don't I don't. It's just kind of uh, sewn into it. And then it has like a plap flap over here for like paper. Yeah, I mean, it's just, it looks like it's just built into it. Right? So it looks like it's probably stitched over here, although I can't see it and then it's looped in and under each of these each of these loops this tab tells me like I could almost tighten it but I think you'd really have to work it in a little bit more it's like a little Loch Ness monster dude here right almost like you could pull this to tighten it but it's very very strong like oh there it goes like you could work into some tightening because like I said, it's fitting all these very large pins with ease, right? If I had like my sailors. Oh, the tab made you think it is adjustable. I think it is adjustable. So let's try the narrower pins and see what it's like. Yeah, I guess the issue is like today it's not broken in, right? So it's a little bit harder to, to manipulate. So here's your 3776 Pro Gear 1911. Both of those are the bigger size sailors. So then in theory, you take this, there it goes, and you pull it. But it's really just pulling this first loop. So I'd want to get some more slack in here. I'd want to do this without the pins in here. But you can tell the difference now in the loops that I've pulled, right? So you see I tightened the first loop, but not the second or third. Does that make sense? Off topic, but nice shirt. This is one of my favorite shirts. Does that make sense? Can y'all see the difference now that I've been able to kind of pull it? So if you're only carrying these size pins, I think you would want to adjust it ahead of time. You're going to want to work this down a little bit. There we go. And work it ahead of time and now come back and get them back in there. Right? And then you can tighten it even a little bit more. Final tighten. Make sense? Yeah, and then that way it works for, you know, a large pin, a small pin, and a medium pin, right? You can adjust as needed. Right, like I could take this out, regain some loop here. So I could put the canalea back in the middle, right? And then they all feel secure in the shape. Okay. <laughs> Vlad is on it. Vlad says double loops or GTFO. <laughs> Vlad, I love you. GTFO. Vlad Le Seronique. Thank you for the follow. Appreciate you. So yeah, cool. I like it. Everyone likes it except Vlad. <laughs> Um, what I was gonna say over here, this is uh this is thin, like it's not gonna fit even like a um like a pocket notebook. 
it's probably like a three, two and a half to three inch width here. So yeah, very cool, very nice. Um, just uh, there's no insert in the uh, in the wall, but it's the the leather is doubled up, right? So you have this panel of leather, this panel of leather, um, sewn uh, sewn together. I think the design's good. <laughs> Yeah, this is like business card receipt. Like, I don't know what I'm going to fit in here. Over here. Um, so, like, this is business card size, right? So, that's a business card size note card. Let's see if I have, like, a pocket notebook just to give you a size reference. So this is your three and a half by five and a half notebook to give you a size comparison. This is a field note size notebook, three and a half by five and a half. Real question is how does it smell? I can smell it from here. It smells leathery. Right. So that gives you a concept of the size over here. Hey, Mike. So. It's gonna have to be some pretty small items to fit in there. Narrow, receipts, cards, cash, maybe. I wonder if they make really narrow notebooks. It's a good question. Um, but I, I, I like it. I like the way they put it together. Index cards, I don't think I have a three by five in here. I only have the three and a halfs. It would be close because this dimension is three and a half. I think it's narrower than checkbook size, honestly. So this is, uh, so this is three and a half. So three is gonna get here by the time you stick it in there. It's gonna be close. Like, I think you could do it. I am taunting you with the fodder sack. I gotta get these up today. They came out so nice, didn't they? Look at these. That's what I've been carrying. Sorry. Like, it wasn't even, it just had to get the thing. Nemocene, yeah, like the, oh, the little notebook I gave away today, uh, yesterday, excuse me. You can put one of these little dudes in there, right? That's what fit it. So that fits, uh, that's the uh, business card size, right? That's this size. Okay, so you're not gonna get too much stuff in that pocket. All right, one down. Let me just, let me see what else is in the box. So YKK stand, product care, uh, promo card. <laughs> I love, like, okay, if you're gonna send me a postcard, right, cool. You send me a postcard to send to my friends. Like, that's fine. Like, product shots on this side. I don't need the spec crap on this side. I'm not sending my friend this. This side is for my writing. Don't give me the stamp and the lines and the nice photograph. Hey, hi, Steve. Please check out all of the descriptions of Shibui. It's like, don't do that. Give me the, give me a, give me a product insert card, cool, or give me, or give me a postcard. Either one is fine, but don't, don't mix up the two. If you were working in an office environment where you need some paper and pens for note taking and order tracking, what would be your setup made of only of not products? I need to remake the A5 spiral notebook. That is our desk notebook. That is probably one of the best products we've ever made that has been long, long out of stock. Um, it'd be that and then um, three by five index cards. Probably line blank uh, note cards. That's it. All right, so this one is eight slot vial case this is for all you degenerates yeah i got who did i get oh canalea there were three postcards in that box right so that's cool so this is the same format 
as the last one it looks like darker brown so this is called olive green the first one was called saddle brown i heard degenerates and perked up degenerates is such a good word i like that word i think it's a i think it's a great word so this is the olive brown looks like exact same form factor but this is for your pill bottles or ink vials is really what it's made for so this basically turns on the side you know what this could be is that can this not be Kaveco sports sized why don't i have a sport in here that would be dope i don't even have oh what's this let's see how big this is axle size maybe yeah this is made for ink vials this is the eight slot vial case so here's a Kaveco sport oh it's too long too long too big will it fit a shown pocket six i don't think so because this actually isn't that close to fitting so it would fit maybe like a lily put but then the the tabs are going to be too long and these tabs are not adjustable so you better buy the proper ink vials to get in there Having ink vial tape, tape case is too rich for my blood. It's like one of those products that it's like cool in theory, like idea wise. But like how many of these would you sell? Like it's a cool idea, but who's like, who's packing heat with eight ink samples, right? Who's, who's go to move is this? Loops are too big for nib units. Yeah, you'd have to put, you'd have to put the nib units in the ink vial storage, right? Like nice, like cool. This look, this was one that like looks better probably in pictures than, um, but like I'm also not like a huge ink sample user, so maybe some people who like really really use a lot of ink vials and ink samples um would pick out some to carry to like a pin meetup right i could see that happening it's cool the leather is nice yeah i use a ziploc <laughs> i'm not fancy with my vials at this point you might as just you might as well just go for the the bandolier right this would be something you'd use a lot yeah, I think there's a market, but I just don't know like how big it is, like how sizable that is. But like, I might send this to Susan to review because I know she does a lot of ink samples. All right, so that was the two smaller boxes. So I, I will say the construction feels really good. Um, in hand all right this one is this is a 12 pocket pen case so y'all see what i mean the difference here with zipper tape but then they've adjusted it with additional leather Right, so that's what zipper tape sizing does for you, right? So you can use a thinner zipper, zipper tape. So this is a boxy feeling saddle brown case. Wow, there is no internal structure to this and it feels really cool. Okay, so we have six slots, not double slotted. Vlad, I think there's more of an issue with this one than the other one, right? Um, so you, you have your six slots here, then you have the adjustable band, right? So you can adjust big, small, big, small, big, small, however you want to do it, um, to fit whatever pins you have in here. What are you going to do here? These pass, are these even pass throughs? It's like, they're trying to do something with the protective flap on the inside, right? So you have your, your soft cloth here flap. What are you gonna do here that's not going to affect these pins, 
right? So you have soft flap here to cover these pins. Slots, cool. All right, like, then we're just gonna jam all this up on our other pins, right? Is that cool? Is that what we wanna do? We need to play with this. We need to fill this up. I don't know if I have 12 pins in here. We'll figure it out. All right, we're gonna load this up. Oh, that's a little tight. I need to adjust some of these. We'll just go with the thinner so I don't have to play with it so much today. Uh, Air tag slot, that's actually a reason, <laughs> reasonable idea. So when I lose my pins, I want to lose all my credit cards, right? So like the question is, what are you putting here that's not going to drive you crazy when you do this? I'm trying to get all the pins and stuff that I have just so we can fill it up. All right. Like this side I'm down with. Strips of blotting paper. Y'all are big fans. Like I'm a I'm a blotting paper fan. But like y'all are out of hand with the <laughs> blotting paper everywhere thing. <laughs> Looks like the website says it can hold cards. Like I get it, but why would you want to? I'm almost saying give me both, just give me the soft flap divider. Like, yeah, I blot everything, but that usually doesn't go into my storage <laughs> decisions. <laughs> I was like, oh boy, let's put in the blotter paper in here. That's what we need to do. I think I can fit this in here now. All right, we need to find two more pen, two more big pens. I got smaller ones here, but I don't know if I have any big ones here. Um... Uh... Will this stay? That's not gonna stay. Well, I think that's all I can fit in here today, but with what I have on my desk. All right, so that's close enough, right? So, cool, like, I'm down with this, right? Cool, wham. Y'all are telling me that you're fine, like, I'm just, it, like, just put nothing there. Give Just give me the other soft flap, that's cool. That's what most people do. Right? Like, I don't dislike it. I'm just trying to understand what your thought process is that you're going to be happy with that. You're telling me you're going to be satisfied by loading this up. I, I'm, these are rhetorical questions. I'm, I'm thinking out the design process in my head. Right, it's like they had this extra space. Let's put a thing here. But now I'm throwing it on here. While you're telling me these pins are more important over here, right? Ooh, this is important. So you get the soft, suede stuff here. Ooh, this is important. This this side, it's cool. Just throw some stuff in there and, and just jam your jam your jam your pins on top of that. Yeah, it's trying to solve the problem of just having the flap in the middle that these types of pin carriers do when they touch, right? They got to have something in the middle to protect. And it's saying that there's a difference between the sides and how you use them. I mean, it's just to, I don't know, I'm just going to do that. But that, then now all I can think about is, well, well, I would rather have this on this side, right? I don't know. It's just the way. Does it close well with everything on here? Um, it looks like it is. So this side, let's see. Hmm. So I've got some pretty tall pins here, but it didn't close straight away. 
So I was also interested in that. Um, Vlad, because of the way they stitched this part, they put the stitching in the middle, but not so that the flap was equally represented on both sides, right? So you have the curve of the flap is on this side, this side, and the open of the flap is on this side. I think if I had my long pins over here, would is the better decision because I actually lose a quarter inch or so of the center right of the adjustment here. Like this stitch is dead center, which means if it's gonna lean this way, I'm gonna lose part of the space over here, which is, I think is what's happening for these largest pins. But I can't also put the pins down further because that's where the cap bands are. Knock leather win. <laughs> well, the reason why we did it is to make this case. So like I'm stuck on my tall pen. A note with what ink you have in each pen. That's actually smart, yes. I think it can handle tall pens, just not on this side. The dimensions are different. So if we flip it, if we go a little Missy Elliott on this, I think it closes. We're about to find out. Thought you said it was a pocket pin case. It's called 12 pocket pin case, right? Not 12 pocket pin case. Or is it only for pocket pins? So here's the here's what it says it is. How do you read that? It's 12 dash pocket, which means it can fit 12 pins, not 12 pocket pins. Right? But in retrospect, it's going to be hella good for pocket pins. <laughs> All right, so let's flip this and reverse it. Because I, now I think we're going to shut. Although you can see the cap band issues I have here. And I'm not going to reverse the pin. The other, I'm not going to store it like this. Probably. Because then my clip is getting pressured here right it's a different it's a different amount of pressure in the center of the case on the clip I think the Kaveco cap band gets under it so let's leave that one like that all right let me put the let's uh I'm gonna put the biggest pin right on the first zipper turn the site has both a pocket 12 case and a 12 case, so I don't know. I'll have to, so we'll have to research this. Like, am I, I doing, am I doing this wrong completely, right? Because I feel like these need to go this way to fit. So maybe, maybe it's a. All right. So then you're like, if I use the big pin. Look how close I'm getting to the zipper here. So you gotta be careful about that, right? You gotta be careful with this. I'm gonna I'm gonna do do it for this just because I'm paying attention to it. But I don't like this. I'm having trouble. deciding how to use this the pins with the caps turned inside don't work with the tighter dimension here it is very uncomfortable to zip this pocket what what do they have it pictured with do they have pocket pins in it or full-size pins so am i supposed to be using pocket pins only that i'll i'll understand but that's a lot of pocket pins. I mean, I've got that many. 
All right, I'm holding everything, Becky. The full size 12 case is oriented differently. So this is the small pin case. Then maybe that's what's in this bigger box here. So maybe this is, if this is for small pins, Kovacos to Sailor Pro Gear Slim. Okay. There you go. I'm using the wrong pins for this case. I don't have all the small pocket pins in here. This will be the first one I review because it's so confusing. So I will review this with 12 pocket pins very first thing. So I think I have the full size right here. All right. Thank y'all for checking that because it was starting to not add up pretty quickly. <laughs> All right. So that's helpful. So I think there's a little need to read the, the fine print on this one. There's no description in, with the box. So yeah, they suggest using the ink cards to carry the, the card slots to carry ink swatches. There you go. So y'all are smart. All right, that was stressful, but I guess that's my own fault. Now, no, I don't have the big one. I have something different. So I don't have the 12 standard pens. This is the A5 life organizer. Okay, scratch everything I said about that last case. I will load it up for Tuesday with all of my pocket pins and then we'll redo it. That case gets a do-over. Yes, you're right, Micron. So scratch that, we were using it wrong. All right, Whew. I feel better. All right, let me pick some of this up because this doesn't look like a full pin case next. This is like a rehearsal. That's what unboxings are, right? You gotta figure out what you have. So yeah, it'll be filled with shown pins, Kavecos, axles, anything I can find. Yeah. So regardless of how it fits, the technical aspects of it are very good. The build quality is excellent. <laughs> Whew. So can you imagine if you're this company and they come watch this, they're like, oh my God, he's doing it wrong the whole time. We got there. That's, it's, it was a team effort. Thank you, chat. Team effort here, I feel, today. Now I have to buy this Canalea pin because I keep jamming it in and out of pin cases and stuff. Something, something, you're holding it wrong, yeah. <laughs> it says something about a pin case if it isn't clear. Well, it's just the, the, it's the size, right? It's just the right size. If it was a little smaller, I wouldn't even considered it. But it's a big enough case where I thought it could fit full-size pins in there. I spent $100 on my Lamy pin. It broke after two years. That stinks. What happened to it? What pin? Real talk, there are not enough pocket pen cases on the market. You know, folks with bigger hands don't know. Yeah, that's why I think I'm gonna. That's why I'm gonna review that first because I think I'm actually gonna like that case. Right. That's the thing about it, Becky. Is I think like I'm I'm like the perfect one to use that case for all the pens that I have to put in it. So yeah, it's great if I use it correctly. All right, so this is the big organizer. Let's see what we got here. So what color is this? Desert Tan. Let's look at the colors real quick. Ah, sorry. Threw 
he's too far away. Desert tan. Love that knock orange. It's a really cool color. This is saddle brown, so you can see it's a little bit oranger. And then this is olive. So I don't know what all leather colors they have on there, but these are three different colors I have. So saddle brown, desert tan at the bottom, olive here. Okay. I'm actually more excited about the uh, <laughs> the small pin case now. <laughs> like I'm so excited about that case. FYI, I'll be buying, buying that fodder sack as soon as it's available. I hope I get it ready for tonight. That's on the, the radar after this. So this one, A5 Life Organizer Desert Tan. Now this is a big product. And there's already one massive issue that I see, which is why I have a real, real challenge with products like these. Can anyone see the problem we have right out the gate. The zipper is next to the pin loop. I don't understand why you do this. I don't care how nice this case is, how functional, how usable, there is no way in any way I will ever put a pin in this pin slot. It's next to the zipper pull. It's next this is a metal zipper. The other ones are plastic zippers. This one's metal. This is a bad design decision, right? You do not do this. I don't care if you have the cheapest Bic pen, a metal pen. I know, right? I'm gonna have to stop. I'm gonna need to put this Canaleo away. Like, you cannot ever, ever, under any circumstances, when you're designing a product, do this. Like, I just, I'm sad. I like this is like a I was going to say fatal flaw, but it's problematic. Look, I it is like I don't know if we should bother discussing the rest of this. You cannot do this. I'm sorry if I'm being like too dramatic to Shibui. This is a non-starter. It's a non-starter. You cannot do this. When looking for a good pen, I never realized there were pen collectors out there. You are in the right place. Oh, I saw your thing. It was the Lamy LX. I was upset at it. Then I realized two years is a reliable pen and served its purpose. So I was fine with it. Yeah, like Lamy's are great pens. Like you just saw me putting around some safaris in there. Um, it's a really, really good, it's a really, really good pen. Um, all right. So let me just, let me do a couple of the things it wants me to do. So it's also telling me that this is an A5, okay? So this is my, uh, we'll use my indigo denim. This is a, uh, oh, it's, I didn't even see the pull at first. It was more the whole teeth of it. And then I was like, oh my God, the pull is right next to it. The buckle, yeah, we'll get to that in a minute. This is why, so do y'all remember, it's been a couple years now, what was that, um, what was that organizer that's like super popular? It looks like this. And I ordered one and it's just, it doesn't work. All right, so this is A5 hardcover. All right, so this fits, right? That fits. 
barely like this is a really thick cover too right this is a really thick cover so then the buckle i don't even have anything in the buckle but it's now behind my page every time i write right even if i don't use it for something you can't put things where people are writing Yeah, what's the name? I can't remember the name. Beautiful, like Instagram worthy products. I will not, I don't know that I can review this case. Like, you're telling me that I need to have a. This case tells me I just need to have paper that goes in here that I then pull out to use that I don't fold over here, right? I just have like a notebook that I slide in, you know. No, no, not peg and all. You know, that I have a product like this, that my notebook is like this, that I take out my notebook then to use because I'm doing stuff up here. I don't even know what I'm doing here. I mean, that's obviously a card slot but to put in a back cover and to write over the top of this doesn't work and then guess what if i do put in my notebook here i get to jam this zipper on the cover all the time right no not galen leather there's some lifestyle brand it's not a uh it's not a stationary brand per se So, actually, I think I'm just going to email them about this case, not file a fax. I'm sorry, y'all. It's a, it's a hipster brand. So there's a pocket behind here. That's fine. Card slots here. That's fine. Not Levenger. It's not a stationary brand. I'll, I'll find it. Just look for, like, Travel Folio or something like that. Not Shinola. Not Baron Fig. Um, <laughs> this is like legit bad design. Like manufacturing and materials and construction wise, it's great. It feels great, looks great, it's put together great. It literally does not work. Literally doesn't work. I don't get the side opening card slot either, right? It's not Bellroy. Um, yeah, I still have that in there, right? So like if you have this book in the flap, you're having to open it up to dig into it. Everything is wrong with the design of this case, not Moleskine. Son of a gun. All right, I'm gonna find, I got my phone here. I don't have to get to the laptop. So there you go, chat. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. I'm just gonna have to give it away or something and let someone else figure out how to use it. I will not be reviewing this case. Because I will just have to, like, this is one of those, this is where bias comes in, right? We talk about bias, and we haven't had to answer these discussions, these bias discussions in years and years. It used to come up all the time. But I'm, one of the things I said I'm biased towards is good products. I'm not going to waste my time eviscerating a product that doesn't work. It's not worth my time. But what I will do is contact Shibui and say, hey, I'm going to review these cases. They're great. I'm going to give them away. They're cool. This case does not work. Right? So that's where bias comes in. I'm biased towards good products. I'm not going to waste my time and my energy to do a whole write-up and photography on this. Because what fun is that for me to just go out there and kill a product? Right? So now what's going to happen is I'll be able to tell the story of this one, of how I screwed it up in the beginning, but it's actually really awesome for what I need it for, right? So that's a story I can tell and a product I can make sense of. That makes a good review. Like, oh, I did it wrong. Here's how we figured it out, and it's a great product. There's no redeeming, va there's no redemption story here. 
This is ground. Thank you, Tessa. That's it. This is ground. Put a link in the chat. So, there you go, Shibui. This is ground. I still have that case laying around somewhere. I was going to uh, give it away. I think, did I review it? I think I reviewed it. TIG. Yeah, TIG mod. It's not as bad as this one. TIG mod. That's right. This is ground. Yeah. The stuff... Like, it's not as, as, like, technically wrong as this one. Let's see if I... I think I did a review. Like, it just didn't have, like, the fatal flaws like this one. Thank you. That was driving me free. Ah, come on. I know I reviewed this. This, this cantalea is going in the pen well for the rest of this stream. <laughs> I'm tired of throwing it around if I'm not going to buy it. All right, I'm finding this. I know I reviewed this stupid thing. Let's see if y'all can beat me to it. I'm going to go to Google to search my site. Or do a site search. How did I not review this? I'm currently flummoxed. Currently flummoxed. Maybe I didn't. This is good content. Anna did a review. How did I not review this? I bought the piece to review. Maybe I just did it on the podcast or something and didn't want to write it up. That doesn't make any sense. More stuff inside your stuff. Maybe that's maybe that's what it did. Yeah, that's kind of ringing a bell now. But like, that's not a great. Um, it's not a great review. Yeah. So there's the picture. So yeah. These are at least a little bit more functional, but it's again, it's like just in this picture alone on the, uh, on here, like your pen and pencil are slamming the front of your iPad, right? Like these are the things I can't get over. So I must have just done it on the podcast and went on a rant. <laughs> Because just this picture alone gives me the heebie-jeebies of functionality. Okay, thank you. This is ground. But they are like mega hipster popular, right? And they have some cool products. But this is not one of them. <laughs> this is not one of them. It doesn't work. <laughs> All right, good stuff. All right, so yeah. A little bit of insight of how I think about products when we do an unboxing like that. Hmm. Yeah, so we're gonna have to have a little 
little uh, contact with uh, Shibui. I don't know if what. So then I now I have this super nice case. Like, should I give it away? Like, I feel like it's a giveaway item, but I'm like saying, like, boy, I don't think that this works. What are your thoughts on the Paragon Warlock? I don't even know what that is. Do you have a uh, Do you have a link? It sounds like a Warcraft character. This is a reminder to drink water. Thank you. I need to get my own water bot on there. Has a company ever responded? Thanks, but you're wrong. Um, Vin Vestas is not a big fan of criticism in general. But I, I chose to send that product back without reviewing it. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone knows the Vinvestus. It's a very weird pocket knife, the Paragon Warlock. It's a cool name. <clears throat> um, let's give something away before I get into writing some more envelopes. So pre-stream. Baron Fig Guardian case. Yeah, because they make it so it like sleeves your notebook nicely, right? There's not too much going on to get in the way of your notebook yeah like i said something in the comments of that that podcast like my commentary was like i caused some problems with my comments on this or something like that but i don't recall what it was so i did i did some envelopes beforehand we'll go 295 bits let's go you didn't include Sam as a pinch, potentially a goldfish pin. So, um, Evan, when we play pickleball, so it's me and Tyler, our partners, and Tyler's 12, and my wife said, so Tyler gets frustrated. So Tyler, uh, my wife said, just without Tyler being around, she said, when Tyler gets frustrated, just go up to him and tell him to be a goldfish. So, yeah, I'm very, very, uh, very, very in tune with that. So that's a good, good call. The This Is Ground review got me a bingo on Pen Attic Bingo. <laughs> the Vinvestus pens are junk. They look, they, God dang it, it's bad. I do have a Hydro Flash. Actually, that's what I do drink water with, but I was drinking coffee right up to the start. So I wanted some water today, but I didn't bring a big, um, uh, just checking in new corner of the room or did you install a window? <laughs> I installed a window to Mulapuma. We're going to go with that. <laughs> oh, Danny Rojas. Yeah, he should have been on. Yeah, I'd have to think about Danny. I was trying to find if someone could be the chaos pin. I really thought Roy might could be the chaos pin, but... I, I think Roy is a little bit more complicated than that. The 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 chaos pin is one sided. It, the chaos pin is a single side of a coin, right? If you're the chaos pin, you're issued a Tervis when you cross over the Florida state line. Facts. All right, let's give away. Danny Re uh, Danny Rojas would be something like black lacquer, raven haired goat retriever. He could maybe he could be the hairline, the black hairline Nakaya. That might be good for Danny Rojas. But that's such a um, that's such a, a kind of a serious pen, and like Danny has more life than that. I think. I'm getting a phone on Friday. Does this give me an Apple TV subscription? It should give you a one year free, I believe. My family had an entire two cabinets of Tervises growing up. Yeah, like we have a shelf full. Monte Grappa, Monte Grappa. I unironically want the chaos pen. So, Kate, I've told the story about how we had our, our fountain pen hospital visit. And one of, we had like a meet and greet thing. And one of the people coming owned a chaos pen and brought it purposefully. And he had the pen case that you put around your neck, right, with the string and then the single leather thing. And, it's, and he had the chaos pen in it. And he like walked straight up to me and Mike and had the pen right here 
it was a legitimately good pen. It changed everything I thought about the Chaos Pen. I was like, that made me get it. Like, I understood the Chaos Pen. Because this person who had it, you could tell it fit his personality perfectly. Right? Like, you know, black hoodie, tatted up, gauges. Like, he was so happy with this pen. Like... It was really, really good. And then he let us try it. And I was like, I get it. Like, I have total respect for this Chaos Pen now. Even though we talk about it as a joke and we still joke about it. And, like, I think it's hilarious. On one hand, we got to use that pen and meet the owner of one of those pens. And I'm like, I get it. Like, I totally get it. Like, it was great. It was one of the coolest things about that trip. It was really cool. Any idea what pen Reginald Hargreaves uses in Umbrella Academy? No, I'm supposed to watch that, but I haven't seen it. Yeah, I don't want to pay. I, I, I don't know that I'd pay that price for the the Chaos Pen. And there's two levels of it, right? There's like the the several thousand dollar level, then there's the tens of thousand dollars level, right? Yesterday, I received my Newler's Ahab Flex Clear. I'm in love. I think those are. Um, that was kind of a little bit of a, a corner turned in some of the Noodler's pen stuff. So yeah, one solid gold, the other sterling silver. Gotcha. And it probably has some jewels and stuff in it, right? Yeah, the gold one's like thirty or forty k, isn't it? I think like even even back then, Kenro would still get emails of people trying to find that pen. So. They did something right. They hit a target market. All right, let me do a couple giveaways real quick. Uh, let's see what we got. Let's just go right off, right off the top rope. James Finnis. I've heard the name, but I don't recall. Give me that entire hutch. Well, I'm working on giving it all away. Like everything in there is a giveaway except for like my my stamps and stuff that I use. It's an ice box. It's the ice box of happiness. Thank you. Should have been going to the Chicago Pin Show this weekend. Dang. Is that already? I I can't keep up with the dates. All right. So first giveaway. Just don't want all the stuff, all the furniture. That's why I got it. So this is an old uh, ice box. And for those who didn't see it the other day, um, it's got the metal, it's got the metal panels. And I used used to have the sign to like order that you put in the window to order the blocks of ice. Um, so my parents, so those who missed the story, like my parents had this in our house growing up when I was a kid, and this was their liquor cabinet, right? So it has, um, they had these plexiglass shelves built into it. So these are like quarter inch plexiglass shelves and uh i'll show you riley just hang tight so this was all i grew up with this in my house and this is where the liquor lived um so i told my parents as when i got older and had a house of my own i said if they ever move and decide to get rid of the ice box like no one gets it but me like i just get it like this is mine i don't care anything else in the house that anyone wants I want this and they moved one year and said that they didn't have room for it and so I got it so this has been sitting out in the shipping department um, for the past three or four years just doing nothing just sitting there being uh, you know looking pretty so when we decided to move the stream set up we knew that this would be a good background because it's got good height um, but yeah like I wish I, I wish I still had the sign for it. So um, it's pretty cool. I like it. So that's my that's my that's my thing. Like this has been in our family for I don't know how old. I don't know anything about it. Like technically, like even if it's an antique or something, but it's been in our family for you know probably at least forty years or whatever. I, the the camera totally lost focus. There it is. All right. Oh, so that was the uh, that was the giveaway I was hiding here. So we're gonna do the um, 
So this is the Midori MD Notebook A5 grid. It's kind of like that one I just finished with the white grid, but this one has, um, I think this one has the more solid grid lines. Hey, Cypher. Um, let's see. Oh no, this one's dotted. Oh, I'm showing it to you on the camera that's not on. So this one's dot grid. Golly, that's not gonna show you at all. So this is the big A5. My shirt is the chaos pin. You know what, that's true. Like I could pull off the chaos pin, I think. I just don't wanna pay for it. So we're gonna give away this Midori MD. And then we'll give something away and then I gotta, I'm gonna do some envelopes. Rewizzles with the gifted sub. Thank you so much, Becky. All right. So, Riley, here's what we do. We don't do that. We do this. Where's my giveaway button? Uh, Midori. So Riley, what you're gonna do is I'm gonna hit open giveaway here, all right? And you have two minutes to do exclamation point raffle. So you'll see what everyone's typing in the screen. If you want to enter, anyone can enter. Like world, I'll ship it worldwide. I shipped to Sweden this week, um, which was cool. And then we'll figure out, um, while y'all are doing that, I'm gonna find the next giveaway item. Maybe that Kaveco I just had out. You want that Kaveco too? So we'll do, we'll do a notebook and a pen today. <laughs> well, you were asking, Riley, so I just wanted to make sure you were clear. <laughs> Check out this pen, okay. Wow, that is bright. Oh, that's super cool. I like that one. I like the size. It's pretty small, right? It looks like about the size of the um, wood sheds, but with a more tapered end. Do they have a size comparison? Uh, 126 millimeters. I'm not good at that conversion. What is that? Just 10, half. So just under five inches, right? So that's good. Give me that Cafe Du Monde coffee can. So those are my pencil cups. So yeah, I like that. I like, I'll be interested to see what you think about it. Cause it looks narrow too, but not small. Like it looks like my size pen. So like it's just under five inches and like five and a quarter, five to five and a quarter is about normal. Like I think the um, spoke is five, five and a quarter. So yeah, you'll have to let us know how, how it is. Um, all right. Cass, did you email me? Because if you did, then we have a problem. Oof. All right. I'm going to look bef in, as soon as I pick this out. What's my ideal pin size? The Sailor 1911L and the Sailor Pro Gear Standard. Sailor Pro Gear Standard is probably my ideal size because that's their big pin, but it's a small pin, relatively speaking. Right, I'll show you. Oh, I have I have comments about the new Blackwing. My ideal pin size is 823 M800. See, I'm a size down from that. So Oh, let me pick the winner. Person that won, pick winner. OSU, 
<laughs> now I have to see you're gonna make me do it. You're gonna make me do it. Toma. Toma is not the correct pen size. So nineteen eleven. I'm trying to do a comparison here. Hang on one second. <laughs> Aaron, you have to email me. Hello at pinatic.com. You have to email me. I know I have your name like 50 times over, but you know the drill. It's the workflow. We got to we got to we got to have the workflow. All right. So this is my perfect size pen. There are these sizes. So I'm going to try to find something larger to compare with, right? There's a reason why we built the spoke pen around this size. So this is the um, Pro Gear standard, 1911 large, and then a spoke. So this is a Leonardo Memento Zero Grande. An Opus 88 is probably bigger than this. Are there any plans for a wider section for a spoke pen? Yes, we already have the diagrams. We're working on prototypes for wider sections because these have a good taper and they get pretty narrow so we're gonna um it's just a it's just some arm i got off of amazon so yeah it's um it's just spun around i'll send you a picture so we're gonna do icon sections that are wider textured and different materials So this is like this is like some twenty dollar arm. Let me just text it to you while I'm thinking about it. Because those um those cameras like they flip out and they have a screw thing on the bottom. Are all these made out of hand or out of a kit? So Machined, machined, machined. Um, I guess these are, um, are these hand turned or are these machined? I don't know if they hand turn these or not. None of them are out of a kit. So are the sailors injection molded? I would have a hard time believing those were injection molded. These are injection molded, right? The Safaris. So the Safari is a larger pin, but it's light and has a narrow enough section for me. Like this is getting into like super, that's, that's like maximum, which is, I said I was gonna put this away. So those are pretty close, right? That's a, those are very big pins. Like this is my sweet spot right here. Sailor section has a seam, does it? Yeah, maybe, maybe they are multiple. Your maximum is like my minimum. Injection molding finished on a lathe. That makes sense. All right, I got to put Aaron's name on this. Which pro gear is that? It's the Fujiyama Blue. All right, Aaron, which pen do you want me to write your name with? On your little sticky note, so I remember to ship you this notebook. And then I'll give away this Kaveco. So this is the pro gear that I love because it's got the, uh, it's got the rod and mount Fuji on the top. And a metal grip section. Like this is my, my perfect build of a sailor. All right, Aaron, you get to pick the Nakaya. All right. So there's the Nakaya. So the Nakaya, you can see it's a little bit longer than these, like the ones that I consider my favorite but it's lighter and it's got the same section diameter, right? And you don't post it. And then by the time you uncap it, right, it's not too far off from here. 
It's a little bit bigger, but it's such a lighter weight. All right. All right. Let's give away this Kabeko. The Nakaya does not screw in the 1911 cap, FYI. Thank you, Rebecca. And welcome. Oh, I'm not the best when you see what I wrote on your card. <laughs> you will rescind that comment immediately. Loveless, you're doing it again. I'm gonna start, I'm gonna accident, you're gonna make me accidentally ban people. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god that never gets old i'm sorry it just doesn't <laughs> but i'm not gonna rewiz has already took care of it <laughs> i'm not gonna touch any buttons because i just end up banning people on accident all right so we're gonna give this one away is this a roller ball or a fountain pen i'm gonna have to open it up so this was the Kaveco Ice Sports, but when they did the two-tone barrels. Oh, this is a roller ball. So it's got the roller ball refill in here. Roller ball tip. Okay. Greg T863. You know why I bought this? I think I was trying to uh I was seeing if like if I could get eyedropper this and had like a I don't know, maybe I was gonna play around with a different refill on this or something. I just never got around to it. All right, let's give this one away. I will win this because I have the pen already. You have the fountain pen model. This is a great color, isn't it? Like, that's the go-to. That's a great color. All right, let's give this one away. All right, I need to put some of this stuff up. Oh, Canalea, what to do, what to do, what to do. I think I'm not going to buy it. It's just I don't want to spend the money right now. It's very expensive. I don't know. I like it so much. I can always come back and get it. All right. Sorry. I'm going to see my hand for a second. All right. All right, so this is for the, the pink Kaveco Ice Rollerball. Giveaway is open. Exclamation point raffle. All so then I'm going to work on, like I said, I, I made some progress this morning. We're going to do a few more. And then I have everyone else's giveaways from Tuesday to send probably this weekend. So if you won Tuesday or today, I'll probably send it Sunday. Yeah, I think Sunday. That's where we're tracking. I did have to go and order more envelopes. This is all the envelopes I have left. We'll do these, then we'll wrap it up for today. Then I had to more order more international stamps and added ounce stamps this morning before y'all got to it. You have no power here, Micronix. That is correct. No one has power here. It's the powerless. We're all powerless here. All right. All right, 30 seconds. And then we're gonna get into the hip hop stamps today. <laughs> yep, 
Yeah, I only have one uh, chrysanthemum international. I sent a bunch of international this morning. We had Netherlands. What do we got? Let's see. UK, Netherlands, Australia, Denmark, and then US and Canada. Did I say Canada? We were we were very international this morning. All right, entries are stopped. Pick the winner. Strange Camel. You won the Kaveco. Strange Camel. You can speak up in chat. Say hi. Oh, it's me. Yeah, we call that the COVID stamp. Um, oh, Cast Rock, I'm going to look at your email. So Strange Camel, you have to email me, email me, hello at penaddict.com with your shipping address, and I will get this out to you this weekend. And I will put a note on here right now. And then I'm going to look at Cass's email and see what the hang-up is. And then we're going to keep going. That is a good name. <laughs> and then we might do one more giveaway if I can get through these envelopes. Maybe. No promises. All right. Strange camel here in. <clears throat> All right, Cass, this is problematic. All right, see you, Vlad. Good comments on the um, on the pin loops. I, I enjoyed that conversation. All right. Now I have it, Cass. Uh-huh. I see your PS. I see your PS. Okay, good. We're not, uh, we haven't gone completely cuckoo here. All right. Good. Thank you. I wasn't totally insane. Just partially. That is good. <clears throat> yeah, everyone's, like, there's no restrictions on the raffle. If you're here, you can enter it. You don't even have to be following. You don't have to live in the U.S. We just do this because... I am very fortunate to have a lot of stationery that I can't use, and I would like to send it to y'all because y'all can use it, hopefully. So yeah, keep following. I do this, I give away stuff every stream. Two or three items, just depending on how long we're on. Could you send one to Mars? Um, we could get it on the rocket. If we can get it on the rocket, I would do it. We'll have to do like a GoFundMe to put, okay. So this is the question while I'm filling out envelopes. What stationary are we sending to Mars? If we can get some stationary to Mars, what are we going to send? I mean, it's got to be pencils, right? Ooh, these are these are Mars. These are Mars colored pen cases, right? Mars sand clay and sandstone. Expedition field notes. It's got to be pencils too, right? Ink samples. We can send it in the eight case ink sample case. Hobonichi. That's a, that's interesting. Why Hobonichi? Blackwing Volume 4. They might uh, take offense to that. <laughs> They're like, are you saying this is what Mars represents to you? Although I just said that this is, you know, very Marsy. The, the, my, my hot take, that's one of my least favorite Blackwing editions ever. It's fine, but that was not my jam. It's the wrong answer, but Fisher would like to have a word. Yeah. Ooh, maybe <laughs> we should send the uh, the the leadless pencil, right? Midori pads with the Galactica corners. I don't know what that is. Escape NASA Retro Fifty One. Now we're talking stone paper. That's actually pretty smart. Graphite is bad for electronics. Chaos pen. Now we're talking. Hmm. Hmm. Brad, did you see the new orange black wings? Yes. I'm going to save my commentary for the podcast on those. Thank you for sending that. And then I went and looked. 
No way in hell are we sitting them our fancy stationery. That's true. It's just gonna get messed up. That's why I'm saying send them the the uh, stone paper notebook and leadless pencil. Right? Liquid Sharpie pencil and stone paper is the answer. Right in the rain. <laughs> I don't know why, but that cracks me up right in the rain. Sin oh, yeah, I didn't even think about that. They, they, they've been on the orange. They've been on the orange for a while. I should have. I'm just more disappointed in, like I, I said, I'm going to save this, but I'm pretty disappointed in, in that decision. I'm willing to be wrong, but I, I'm pretty disappointed with the Blackwing Palomino release. Just because you can do something doesn't mean you should do it. So I will save the remainder of that commentary for the show next week. Because I, I want to spend some time looking at it. Oh man, did I mess up the very first one? forgot to highlight some of the ones that I already did so where am I down to I was I did a duplicate all right there's a new one goodness gracious it's an orange pen it's an orange pencil with the best core because they already have they're repurposing a pencil that already exists and charging eight times the price of what the original was. The black, the orange and the blue were some two of the most popular Palomino pencils ever. And now it's kind of being bastardized, I think, at a premium price. See, I said I wasn't going to talk about it, but I am. So I think it's an I I I don't like that decision. The, the the premiumizing of the basics. That's not what I want to see from companies who are constantly cranking out limited editions. Right, and that that's, I think that's part of the problem, head full of ideas. Yeah, so make an orange black wing. I don't think it was, it's, I don't think it's a tough decision. I just think using the Palomino name in this instance is the wrong way to go. That's just me. I could be wrong. It just doesn't feel right to me. Put it that way. It just doesn't feel right. Yeah, there's a difference between Blackwing and Palomino. Raffle status. Is that a can is that a uh, command we can use? I don't even know. Premiumize. Is that a word? I like that word. Premiumize. Like it just, it feels weird to me. Sorry. Yeah, I don't have a bunch of commands and stuff set up. Like I don't have Nightbot. Like I should probably use, I'm just using the, the Streamlabs bot stuff. And I can set up all these commands. Like there's a, there's a command center in here. And uh, I just haven't um, filled out things to use commands for. So I should probably do that. That would be cool. How to win Tritch Raffle. <laughs> so
so yeah the extra stream were any of y'all here yesterday afternoon for the the post podcast stream was that okay was that like think maybe something we should do it was good to do some show and tell afterwards do go for about an hour nothing too long it fit my schedule pretty well i'll say that it was good. Yeah. Just kind of, I like talking about the podcast, like, right right after. Even if some people haven't heard it, we can still do, like, show and tell some of the stuff so you know what we talked about. Even if you listen to it, or even if you don't listen to it, period. You can see yeah. some, of the, some, of, some of the specifics we covered. I thought that might work. I think I'll keep trying that for a little bit. Like, have the post-show stream? Yeah, like, it seems like it makes sense to me, so. All right, so I'm going to do, how was Mike doing yesterday with all the Apple event stuff? So, I started listening to Cortex this morning, and he was talking about, he didn't tell me this before we started recording yesterday, that he felt hungover yesterday morning just from like being up so late working the night before <laughs> he was talking about like basically feeling like he was he had been drinking all night except he had just been up like working all the apple stuff um at night <clears throat> so yeah what i say five more then we'll do one more giveaway then i'm gonna get out grab some lunch finish up some shipping i'm gonna get caught up on spoke shipping today if i owe you something should be headed out today and actually all the shipping is getting caught up today spoke knock and panatic stuff all uh gonna get caught up today so that's what we're doing after lunch today so we'll wrap this up soon um i'll i'll grab one of the bigger notebooks to give away i gotta see what i got tons of a5 stuff like that midori so we're, we'll probably do another one of those And this will exhaust my envelopes. I already ordered more, though. Ooh, we'll get to... When the new envelopes come, we can do uh, kerthunking. Could tell from the from the hello ad read. Yeah, he screwed that up like four times. <laughs> Fodder stacks? Yeah, I'm going to put those up today. And do a... Uh, order a spoke right now? Probably. I should... I should like... I should 100% the open orders today. That's the plan going into it. Only because like my, my wife is off today and I don't have to pick up the kids, which means I don't have to stop at 2 o'clock. I can just keep going. So yeah, I'll get a whole new box of envelopes. We can thunk the whole thing one day. That would be annoying as heck mega annoying so we like a yes on the post show stream and then we're gonna think about a uh, letter writing social club <laughs> I know y'all think I'm lying I'm not lying Not lying. I did start looking at the music for that, by the way. I just got to figure out how to get it tied in so it doesn't sound like it's coming from my speaker into the microphone, that it's like native into the OBS. Oh boy, I'm going to misspell this if I don't pay attention. did it we did it chat that is a long address
How's Tyler's phone payment going? Not really good. <laughs> he is, uh, to his credit, he's doing lots of other things. He has become the uh, Burning Crusade coming out soon. I can't do it. I can't do old, the, the OG Warcraft. Um, he is, aside from, like, playing, uh, oh, listen to Dance Hall Crashers while I'm shipping. Yeah, that's on the list. I gotta bring my list out there. Um, he is being a kid again, being outside, not using, you know, the electronics. He has become, like, addicted to, like, Rubik's Cubes. So I'm all for that and solving them and timing himself and getting the different size cubes. And like he goes to bed at night watching the, uh, the YouTube videos on he's writing down algorithms in his notebooks. So like if he's not working to pay off the phone, I'm glad, at least glad he's doing that kind of stuff. Right. He doesn't whine about not having, you know, PlayStation and twitch and video games and stuff because he's actually doing some fun stuff all right what is this corinne let's see story supply back nice you know what So Headbone DM'd me, told me to check my P.O. box. I wonder if that's it, because that's pretty sick. That looks great. Their paper's always been awesome, too. Are you in Brood X territory in Georgia? I don't even know what that means. Is that like a, a, a Walking Dead thing? It sounds like a Walking Dead thing. Oh, the cicadas. I'll have to see. Is there a map? I bet we are. It's pretty much the same thing. <laughs> I've heard about it. How do I tell if I am? Oh, the X is a 10. But the... Sorry. This is my third go-round. That's actually kind of funny. Yeah, shout out. Yeah, put a link into uh, Damien's work. Damien's a good dude. Does good work. He was working at Bertram's this weekend. So yeah, always shout out Damien. All right, let's look at this map. Oh, I'm not in the map. So that's cool. I wouldn't mind if I was. Yeah, we're actually not even close. Like some of the the thirteen year Alabama section is about three hours away from me. That's about as close as we can get. Dang. <laughs> I would look forward to that. I wonder what Toby would think about that. Thank you for reviewing the right pad engineering notebook. I'm using it as my health journal. Oh well, I have it right here because I'm gonna use it in this next upcoming review for these gel pens that I'm gonna do. Um, so yeah, how cool is that notebook, right? We'll probably have a few. He, Toby would eat them. I don't know. He saw two frogs when he went out last night and he would just like sniff them and then he just walked away. Like he didn't care. Actually, there were toads. He didn't really, 
I was surprised that he wasn't like really messing with the with the toads, but he would eat them. That would be funny. Oh, speaking of him, come here, Toby. Hey, buddy. Did you hear your name? Come here. Come here. You want to see some friends? Come here. Come here. Come here. You want to see some friends? Oh, you don't want to come here? Come here. Come here. Your friends want to see you. We're going to get a picture of you and put it on like a sticker so we can show. Come here. Come here. Come here. <laughs> come here. Come here. Oh, now he's running away. Come here, Toby. Toby, come here. Where'd he go? Come here. Come here, buddy. There he is. There he is. Oh, there he is. Toby, would you eat the cicada bugs? Would you eat the bugs? Toby would eat the bugs. Would you eat bugs? Do you like bugs? Are bugs your friends? Hmm. Would you eat the cicada bugs? Hmm. Toby says, hey. Toby's been chilling. What you been doing this morning? Did you just eat? You're looking at your, oh, see ya. All right, later. <laughs> He's like, enough of y'all. He's out. He's gonna go find some cicada bugs to eat. So we're gonna get Toby emotes. Like the number one emote we're gonna get is Toby emote. But yeah, I'm really surprised he didn't mess with the toads last night. I even was trying to get him to jump to see what he would do, and he's like, yeah, whatever. Ooh, I may not have given myself enough room. I only have two envelopes left. Two envelopes left, then we'll do a giveaway. Oh, I think we got it. I think we got it. Whew. All right. All right, see you, Mike. We'll raid you momentarily. After this next giveaway, I'm almost done. And then we'll shoot you, shoot a raid over towards Mike. They taste bad. What taste bad? Cicadas or snails? For all the weird things I've eaten, I'm trying to wonder if I've eaten snails. I think I've eaten snails. Toads have a poison on the skin, so he, I guess he must smell them and just kind of go away. Not care about them. Makes sense. Luna's making friends with the snails. That's funny. All right. One more. Then we give away. And then we go see what Mike's playing today. What are you playing today, Mike? And how was that game the other day? That new game. did it all right let me get this going cane toads are also hallucinogen hallucinogenic i don't even know what a cane toad is we used to have tons of june bugs i don't see june bugs anymore all right let me mark this off the list. How many do we have left? Still about 25 to go, but I'm in good shape. I did about 20 today. And then we'll be caught up. 
All right, cool. All right, one more giveaway. Whoa, that was the wrong button. One more giveaway. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Let's open up the ice box of happiness. Luceritos. Is that a is that like a firefly uh, lightning bug um, name? It's a cool name. Yeah, we have fireflies pretty frequently here. We don't have tons of them, but we do see them. All right. Notebook. I gotta fix this handle. Let's see. Let's do a, uh, we're gonna do a Japanese combo meal. All right. Although I guess most of the stuff I give away is from Japan as it is. We're gonna do a cool combo meal here. These are not normal uh, ones. So this is, who makes these? I can't remember who makes these. Subami maybe. I can't really tell, but the paper is really excellent. These are the Star Wars A5 soft cover notebooks that are just awesome. So they're thin. You know, probably like 50 page. Um, their graph, they have like the Star Wars logos on the bottom, right? The artwork is like super sick on all these. So this is the Darth Vader. This is the Imperial one. <coughs> Excuse me. They have a few different models. The paper in these is really, really fountain pen friendly. I like them. I want to say it's Subami. Subami makes them, but I can't remember. And there's nothing here that, that tells me who makes them. And even the site on the back just says starwars-jp.com. So anyway, these are great. I love them. You will like them. So that plus a full scat B6 Penco landscape size notebook. Subami has a bird logo. I don't guess there's any logo. Oh, uh, yeah. So there's a there's like a dove, like a bird, like doing a crash landing here. Is that maybe the Sabame logo? So that this is a full scap uh, lined. This is like a horizontal layout ruling. Um, also like thin B6 size notebook. Um, do they call this anything? It's just a notebook. 30 sheets. The Penco notebook uses high quality full scap made in Japan. This paper has characteristics that prevent ink bleeds and offsets and also fulfills Japanese industrial standards. The watermark lines prove the paper has been manufactured in a traditional way and guarantee the high quality. So there you go. So one winner will get both of these, the Star Wars and the Penco. All right. Giveaway buttons. Okay, so, oh, it's an excellent excuse to get a black and white vanishing point. That should be, like, if you win this notebook, you automatically gotta go buy a Stormtrooper vanishing point. That's the rules. Exclamation point raffle gets you in. Anyone can enter. Followers, not followers. U.S., Guam, Bali, Indonesia. Anyone from those places can enter. I'll send them worldwide. Antarctica, if we have anyone at the substation listening watching today please enter 
um, you know, all over the world, pen addicts worldwide unite. That's what we do here. Yuppies. Upper Peninsula. Actually, maybe, maybe we won't ship to the Upper Peninsula. Those people seem weird. Any Yuppies here? So we'll ship worldwide except for the UP. Can I trade in my 10,000 channel points for a Stormtrooper? No. We got to figure something out. Something to change. Something to trade. <laughs> Youpers need not apply. <laughs> like, is that even a real place? I think they're, I just think they're, I think it's made up. I know, I, 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 I that just made me think of Youpers. <laughs> the UPU. It's like, ooh, you're so special. You're a Youper. It's beautiful, but weird. I bet it's awesome. I bet it's super cool. Oh yeah, I'm just saying it because I'm jealous. Like I think it's probably like a pretty cool, cool place. Definitely unique. Oh wow, that was a fast two minutes. All right, <clears throat> pick the winner. Love, loveless. I'm just gonna write barcode, barcode scanner on here. Barcode. <laughs> barcode <laughs> scanner <laughs> uh, I have too much fun at this barcode scanner did you win notebooks last time there we go I did barcode scanner there you go <laughs> Congrats, love Lois. I love your barcodes. As long as they're not credit card numbers, we're good. <laughs> I gotta make myself laugh because I'll go crazy otherwise. <clears throat> All right, that's gonna be a wrap for today, everyone. Today's Thursday, which means no streams until Tuesday. That stinks. I don't know if maybe we'll play around Monday. Maybe we do. Maybe Letter Writing Social Club starts Monday night. I don't know. I keep threatening. I keep not having time. But we got to make time, right? We got to do it. Do it, chat. Do it. Um, we got to have time to do that. We got to have time to do more streams, give away more stuff. Um, virtual bike race. Nice. Good luck, Evan. Um, oh, you got the... Uh, I don't have any of Mike's new ones. The new, uh, the new Cortex, the notebook. I forget what it's called. Panatic Warzone Gang. No, Mike streams tomorrow. Other Mike is streaming right now. I'm gonna uh, send y'all over there. We're gonna raid Mr. Madison momentarily. Subtle notebook. Thank you. That looks cool. I'm gonna have to get one of those. Try it out. Um. Oh, there's some new Retro Fifty Ones. Oh, the new Cat and Dog Retro Fifty Ones are out. I'm so glad they're continuing that. Not that I thought that they wouldn't, but that's a good reminder that they are keeping things the same. So I see the cat and dogs out there now on the Retro 51 Twitter feed. <clears throat> All right, let me find Mike. Thank y'all. Y'all were awesome today. Thanks for hanging out. Um, thanks for going through the uh, the initial look um, on, the, on the leather goods uh, that we got to play around with today. Let me find my dashboard. I should probably start keeping this up during stream so I don't have to chase it down afterwards. It even has a clip that button. All right, let's see if we can find Mike today. Well, of course not. Why would we do that? There he is. He's playing Spirit Fairer again. Was that a good game yesterday? <laughs> Looks like it could be a cool game. All right. Thanks, y'all. We'll, uh, we'll be back Tuesday, if not sooner probably Tuesday, but, uh, we'll see till then say hi to Mike for me. Go over there, spam some, uh, some sailor, uh, some sailor orange pins in his chat when you get over there. All right. We're going to line y'all up. <clears throat>
And um, I'm going to go ship some things after I eat lunch. So be prepared. Bye.